Welcome back to totallymagic.co.uk. Another trick for you. This one, I've got two assistants. Unfortunately, they're not real people. It's these two ladies here. The two black queens from a pack of cards are going to help me today. Now, these are not regular cards. And when you look at those, you've probably spotted it straight away. They both have, if you can see that, a hole punched right through the middle. There's holes on this side, and surprisingly, there's holes on this side as well. So, two cards there. We also have a joker, which has got a square cut hole through it, and it's also got a different colored back, a blue back, as opposed to the red backs. We're going to take the two queens, there they are there, okay, and we're going to sandwich between them the joker, and he goes just in between, um, let me just do this uh, kind of slowly for you so you can see, there it is, it's going in between the two queens, let's just line up the hole in the middle there you can see let me just show you that you can see through there and through there I don't know if you can see that and what we need is a set of handcuffs haven't got those so we're going to use a pin instead a little brass pin and I'm going to push it through the hole in the back of this queen and it comes out the front and I'm just going to bend those over like that. So you can see that all three cards are now sandwiched together with the joker in between the two queens. There it is there. Watch closely as we apply some magical penetration. Watch if I just move the joker gently, gently watch as it breaks free keep watching this is important okay you can see what's happening this card can be examined there are no other slits or cuts just the square hole this is the deal these are still locked I can't get these apart as you can see the brass pin is still going through you can see that I can't get these apart they're solid unless I remove the pin and if we just pull the pin out there it is there and you've got two regular cards on there hope you enjoyed that performance of a very simple card trick now I know there's lots of variations of this but this is quite an early one and this particular one I actually bought not from a magic dealer uh, in 1978 it was a toy shop a little uh, children's toy shop back in 1978 and um, this was hanging up on one of those racks for uh, probably about 50p or something like that back in them days and I picked this up and it's still the original one. It has been repaired, but I'm going to show you how you can make your own. Now, you need some form of pin and I've got one of these brass split pins. You also need uh, any card. I've got the Joker or this trick came with the Joker and it's got a square hole. So if you've got a sharp blade or a razor blade, you can cut that out, but do be careful. A square cut hole on there. And two cards now these are two queens but picture cards will work the best well picture cards are what you need and the reason you want the picture card is because of this border around the drawing okay, and there's a reason for that as you'll see now the two holes are punched in now what would be a good idea is to find a pack of cards that could work well now using something like the bicycle cards wouldn't work quite as well because if you look in the middle if you punch a hole in there there's no smaller sorry there's no 
pattern there to disguise the next part as you'll see when I reveal what it is. Look at this one here. Let me get a close up. It's got a nice circular pattern which makes this ideal. This is just a regular queen with just a hole. So these two cards, nothing funny. This one here is the fake. Now let me get close up to see if you can spot it. There it is there. It's got a regular hole through it, but watch. Watch closely. Ba -ba. Look at that. If I just turn this sideways on, you can see there's a flap. And let me see if I can get an angled view of this so you can see it. Can you see that? That the little flap has got this bit cut out and stuck on there. So if you, I suppose you could say it's a hole within a hole. So the way you want to do this is to get, in this case I've got the Queen of Clubs, I've then got another Queen of Clubs from another old pack that matches, and I've put them together. If we can imagine this is what I've done, I've put them together, turned it over, got a sharp blade, and I've cut through this circle here. I've cut the shape. Now I suppose depending on what pack of cards you've got, it doesn't have to be a circle, but a circle works better. So cut that around and then I've glued it onto the back of this card and then I've cut out the picture. Let me show you the fake so you can see what I'm talking about. So here is the fake. So this picture here is actually from a different playing card. Let me just open the flap and you can see what I've got there. There it is there. And stuck on the back of this flap is, let me show you, is that little circle red cut out there. And that goes in there. Now when you push these together and hold them, can you see it's perfect? Even close up the audience wouldn't spot that that's been cut out. They just see the hole. You glue it at one end, so you create this flap here. There. In the performance, you can show the cards. There they are, the, the two queens, and you can show them quite freely. When you come to push this sandwich between them, you have the fake card at the back. The opening is over here. There it is there. Overlap this a little bit so you can see the edge of the card behind it. Let me get the angles right on this. When I push this joker in, I pull down on this bottom card. Now by pulling down just slightly, you don't want to do it too much, just slightly, let me see, you can see what happens. Let me see if I can get a close up of that. You can see that's what happens. I can then feed this through, watch it go past, there it is, on there. And then if I just grip here, it pushes it back in. From the audience view here, it looks like you've just pushed this card between the two cards, but this is what's actually happened. Okay, Square up the two top cards to line up the holes as you then push one of these pins in. Now you turn the whole packet over, squeezing this here just so it doesn't come free. Push the pin through there, turn it over bend it. Now you're quite free to pull on this, it tugs very well and it really does look as though this is trapped and you can show it both sides. When you're ready you hold this edge here and you're, let me do this at an angle, you're basically going to just pretend to rub this but what you're actually doing is pulling this bottom card down a little bit so that you can pull this free from the card. Okay, let me do that upside down so you can see what's actually happening. You can see the card goes past the pin. And when it comes out, 
if you squeeze the cards together they're put back together and they appear locked together if you didn't quite get that rewind the video watch it a couple of times it's worth making up uh, because it, it just looks so convincing I know there's other variations out there on the market which may work a similar way but that's a very simple way of working.